Hey everyone, I'm here to show you a little bit today about um, working with Android in Unity. And what I want to focus on is really a feature that I think is pretty cool. Um, it's called a toast message. So let me show you what a toast looks like. Um, as you can see right around here, we've got a burnt toast. I'm just clicking that button to send another burnt toast. And so those toast messages are a really cool like temporary message that is shared across different apps. So let's get into the details of how you would actually send a toast. So I've got here a simple scene. Now we're gonna rebuild the project and make it look a little bit easier to see, but um, we have our toast here, toast button. So it's a very basic scene. Um, I've added a button, I renamed it toast button and I edited the text so that it says send toast and I changed the font size. I'm gonna put on my glasses for this so I can talk to you a little bit better. So um, I changed the canvas to scale the screen size, um, pretty standard whenever I'm working with mobile phones I usually want to do that and um, I put on my own resolution that I want to work with. Um, I'm really just creating one simple script, uh, might look a little complex but I'll show you what it actually is and it doesn't have a whole lot in it. So we started with uh, using Unity Engine. That's the only using statement we need. Um, I'm calling the script Toast Factory because this is where we're gonna make all the toast. You gotta make lots and lots of toast. Um, you could use toast for a lot of things and I'll talk about use cases after we go through the, the how-to. So uh, when you're working with Android specific stuff, uh, the code is a little bit different. We're going to use things that we're not quite used to, like Android Java object. And um, this kind of variable, it's currently a private variable, but we need this variable so that um, we can get our toast to happen. We're also going to need an Android Java class. Um, your Android Java object must be assigned for toast to access the current activity, which would be... Um, I think that's the app. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's the app that your game is running. And then um, this current activity should be, you know, the Uni Unity player's current activity. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, again, what that does, but just put that there. Um, we need access to the current activity on the phone. You can try removing it and see what happens. So here's the function, and then um, that's it for the script. It's just one function. So I called it send toasty toast. We want our toast nice and toasty. Um, you can pass in a value for a message. I'm gonna go ahead and call it message. And I like to include a bool, and I, I really just copied and pasted this, so I put it twice. But um, I like to include this bool because toasts have two options. You can send a long toast. Now a long toast will last, I believe, for five seconds, or you can send a short toast, which will last for three seconds. Uh, I think those are the right values. It's five seconds and three, three seconds, I believe. So to send a long toast, you've got to write a grand total of five lines of code. That's it, just five lines. So we're gonna start with getting our context. To get your context, you're going to call current activity, which if you remember, that was um, our Android Java object. So we're gonna call current activity Sorry about that. Dot call. Android Java object is the type. And our string that we need to type in here is get application context, where get is lowercase, application and context are they have an uppercase letter. Man, these pop-ups are annoying. Oh, I, it's coming from my phone. You guys can't see them, so that's okay. Um, all right, next line we need to create an Android Java class. We'll call it toast. And then um, the string that we need to pass in is android.widget.toast with a capital T. We also need an Android Java object, which would be a Java string. And so we're basically just gonna take our current string and then turn it into an Android Java string. And um, at that point, uh, we'll create 
a toast, the message, and this message will come from our toast class. And the way that it works is we're going to do call static, and we have to pass in a few things. The first one is make text. The second one is our context. So that would be the Android application context. The third one is our Java string, which is our message. And the fourth thing that we need to pass as a parameter is um, the length. Now, the way that you change the length is you change this string. So this string, it's in all caps with an underscore after length. There are two values. You can do short or you can do long. So down here again, these five lines are exactly the same, except I have changed short to long. So I have two possible toasts. We're going to make an upgrade to our scene. So I'm going to my scene right here. I click on my toast button. I'm going to wait for it to kind of like appear here in the inspector. It's lagging a little bit. Sorry about that. And if I look at my toast factory, I have a checkbox for is long toast. And that will allow me to set whether or not I want it to be a long toast or a short toast. And so what I can do is, um, by the way, on my button, I've just taken my toast factory script, dragged it onto the button, just did kind of like that. And then I went to my button and I go to the on click menu. Um, I choose, I click on the circle thing over here, choose toast button, go to toast factory, and then add my send toasty toast. And I'm passing in the string, this is burnt toast. So uh, what I want to be able to do is to kind of test this. Now watch what happens when I press play. So I'm looking at my console now, and I'm going to click on the send toast button. It gives me an error saying object reference not set, um, toast factory line 26. If we look at line 26, it's trying to get the application context, and we're not in Android application. So um, don't worry about that. Nothing is wrong. It's because we're on PC. So what you'll want to do to test this out is go to File, and then Build Settings, and uh, we'll change it to Android. So if you haven't already done that, change it to Android. Go to your player settings, make sure that you do some kind of like package name. Um, and then if you don't do a package name, it won't let you build this out. And then you can build it to your device. Um, before we build it to the device, I'm just gonna quickly put a UI toggle. Call this long short toggle. And I want this toggle to be centered, but to the left side. And then um, I want it to be like, uh, let's go 40 units away from the side. I want my width of the toggle to be quite wide. Let's get rid of our, we don't need the label part of it. Um, let's make the background stretched and for our toggle, we'll go 40, no, let's go like 60 by 60. I want it to be easy to click, that's the idea. So if I press play, I should just be able to check and uncheck it real quick. Okay, so the check and uncheck works. And um, when we toggle, we want something to happen. So we're gonna create a really small function, public toggle toast length, and then we're just going to say is long toast equals not is long toast. Uh, this should be a void, sorry. We'll go to our toggle. For the on value changed, we'll add something from our scene. We'll get our toast button, toast factory, and toggle toast length. Okay, simple as that. Um, we're going to go ahead and file, build settings, add the current scene, and then build the project and run. So we're going to build our project, and it will show up on our device after that. So I'm going to connect you to our device. There we are. It does take a moment. 
but once Unity builds, um, we'll be able to kind of see this in action and we can try it out. Remember, like I said, you cannot test Android Toast on your Windows device. You do have to test them on an Android object. Um, but Toasts are really cool. They're totally worth the effort to learn. Um, it, it's so easy. I mean, like, just use the code that I gave you if you want. Um, you can customize it to meet whatever needs you have, but it, it's really easy to work with. So our build is done. Let's try it out. So obviously my UI, not the greatest. I'm scaling with height, not with width. So they're a little overlapping, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and toggle. I can send my toast. This is burnt toast. Toggle it again. This is burnt toast. Notice how it lasts a little bit longer. I can make it last very short or very long. And the settings are three seconds and five seconds. So we'll go ahead and count it this time. One, two, three, four, five, about five. And then we'll try the other one. One, two, three. Yeah, so about five and about three. And that's about it. That's all there is to toast. Um, what I would recommend is don't do a toast button because you have no use for that in your app. I was going to talk about use cases, right? Well, here we are. You want your toast to have a good purpose for your game. So uh, your player has just unlocked an achievement. They've, they've done something in the game. It's noteworthy. Send them a toast. Say, hey, you've just defeated the boss. Or, hey, you found a new treasure or you know something like that give them toast as um, a reward you know uh, some kind of notification like make them feel important or um, if your user has just registered an account then send them a toast say that they registered successfully because it, it really feels native to the device and it just feels special when you receive a toast um, if they incorrectly type in their password you can say, uh, hey, that was an incorrect password. Um, if they're trying to fill out a form and they type something that's not a correct value or it's the wrong type, you can send them a toast that says that. Um, if they've been playing for too long and you're trying to limit their playtime, send them a toast that says, hey, you should like drink some water or get some exercise. I don't know. Um, if they're stuck in your game and um, you need to give them a hint you could send them a toast there are lots and lots of use cases it's just anytime you want to really communicate with them go for it it's fun um i like toasts i'm probably going to use them in almost all my projects but um yeah that's all there is to it if you enjoyed this video and if you think you're going to start using toast in your project just wait until you see my next video in that video i'm going to show you how to send an email so if your user registers for your product and you want to send them an email um, you'll learn how to do that the other cool thing about sending emails is you can actually use an email to send a text which is really cool um, you can send this text from your from their phone when they are you know using their app so that would be on their internet um, or you can send that email which would send a text from your server so either way pretty cool stuff it's coming up in the next video. See you guys then. Um, yeah. Enjoy.